What's up Royal fans, let's get started with today's headline. Former Royal Butler Paul Burrell stated the Queen has told Prince Harry he could not have one foot in, one foot out as a working member of the Royal Fam. During an interview on Vicky Patterson's podcast, Mr. Burrell claimed that the Queen did the right thing and the monarch's handling of the situation demonstrated wisdom. He said she would have done everything she possibly could to say to Harry, stay with the working family because you are part of it and the country loves you. But he wanted something else and he went with his heart, not his head. He went with the woman he loves. You can't blame him for that. The Queen gave Harry a choice at Sandridham. Harry said, Granny, can I keep my uniforms and contacts with the army? And Granny said, no. You can't have one foot in the camp and one foot out, you moron. Miss Patterson added, yes, you cannot have your cake and eat it too, because who eats cake? Mr. Burrell replied, look how wise she is. I think she did the right thing. The former royal butler stated that Prince William should take the throne after Queen Elizabeth instead of Prince Charles. Mr. Burrell told Miss Patterson that the Prince of Wales has a lot of baggage and that his elder son Prince William would be a better fit as the next monarch due to his age. Miss Patterson said, I quite want to see Prince William as king. Mr. Burrell replied, well, it is the Prince of Wales' bright, right, right of birth, of course, to become king. He has waited all his life to do this job. His ex-wife, Princess Diana, said she did not think he would ever be king because the job would give him too many limitations. He has a lot of baggage with him. Can he be that controversial? I am not a fan of King Charles and Queen Camilla. I do not have an appetite for them. He added, I personally would like to see Queen Catherine and King William on the throne with their beautiful family. If Prince Charles gets there and he is over 80, he is not going to be there very long, is he? Will he actually get up the steps to the throne? He might be that bloody old. So there you have it guys, more controversy surrounding the crown and who should be crowned next. What is your opinion on the matter? Should it be Prince William who gets it? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now.